welcome back to Guardians of the Galaxy Cosmic Rewind. We are here today celebrating, of course, this amazing attraction, but I've also finally got my Magic Band Plus, which we're going to test out just a little bit in the park today. So we decided to come to you. What's happening? As we're ready to save the galaxy, take a look at this. One of the lines here is almost completely empty. I hope that doesn't mean the uh, virtual queue is going away. As a local, I love it. No one's going to stop rock and roll from existing. as always but my magic band plus just lit up just like that this blue and greenish i don't know what that means i'm guessing it's like you just got a photo pass picture i gotta check real quick but it's a note i love it i just can't get enough of guardians of the galaxy and i do want to mention that i'm very happy that the virtual queue exists again as someone who's local i get the virtual queue and then as soon as my time's called i'm here it's no problem so i do like that a lot i do know it's going to change but i feel like the virtual queue's got a lot of power and is deserving of sticking around so again, you saw it light up right after the ride. I'll check if there's a photo. It actually wasn't a new photo. I just checked, it's not a new photo. So we're gonna head uh, around, take another look at what this magic band can do. Sure enough, we've got a few new kiosks that have opened the Mac and Eats, which is really good. We've had it before, the Cowboy Mac and Cheese, Chili Cheese, oh my gosh, it all looks good. And Coastal Eats over there, which I'm a big fan of too. I haven't decided which one it's gonna be, but we gotta try one of these new kiosks. It's, uh, it's not new new, it's just recently opened here at Food and Wine. The smell here is so, so good. Here's the Oysters Rockefeller and the Baked Scampi Dip. Ooh, I'm tempted by both of those. Maybe you'll get the scampi, just to kind of have a little snack. That sounds really good. Here it is, the Baked Shrimp Scampi. I think we have had it before. It looks super good. Comes with that piece of bread, which looks delicious. We're gonna go ahead and give it a try, I'll let you know what I think. All right, we gotta try that scampi on the bread. Let's take a big old spoonful right here, and I will let you know. Very excited to try this one, $6 for this one, what appetite. Love this one, absolutely love it, would definitely get it again. Might even go out of my way for it. That's how much I love it, I remember it being really good. Coastal Eats, Food and Wine Festival, probably one of the best things I've had at the festival. It's true, and I, the festival food has not as been as good as past years, but um, this one's really good. I'd get this one, for sure. Again, absolutely love that one. The shrimp scampi was outstandingly good, and really filling, $6 or something close to that, really filling for what you get. Like that one a lot, now I'm excited try out some of those special effects with my magic man and with those golden characters. And here he is, figment of imagination. He's gotta be the first one I use my magic band plus with. Are you ready? Let's do this together. Something's happening here. Waving, we're waving. I loved it, I loved it. The original soundtrack with figment lighting up magic band plus and the monorail going by. One more time, just for just for old time's sakes. One more time. Let's see if it'll do it again. I don't know if it'll do it multiple times in a row. I don't know. Looks like it only will do it once every so often. Interesting. So you can't do like repeats that much. Maybe it's like a two or three minute cool down. So you don't just repeat it again and again. I think somebody else wants to use it too, so love that. Looks like some guests are trying to do the exact same thing I am, but look, it's, it buzzes just as I get close here. So as I'm walking up, the Magic Man Plus, it buzzes and then does the color but it looks like they're trying to do it a second time. Oh, now it looks like they've waited enough time. If I do it one time here. I thought that was Costco, but mm -hmm. it's not. Oh, it's is it Samantha? No, it's Brunei. Oh, Brunei. Oh, I can hear it, I can hear it. There's like snow yeah. in the air sounds. Yeah. You see my magic band lights up with the different colors. I thought the same. Just sounded like snow and wind. So sounds like different sound effects with each okay. character. And the rumor is the parades are next. Okay, here's a couple of our friends from Coco. Let's see what happens. Good evening, oh. and welcome <laughs> to the World Showcase of It does, nothing's happening in now. Minutes, I'm wondering if that stops all the music. It does, look at that. So be, when this is playing, when you get the audio coming from here, these stop. Let's wait and after the announcement and see if there's any difference. That was cute. Nothing super special, but uh, just little, there's magical noises. Here's Rocket and Groot over here. A couple, of, a couple of our guests are waving at him. Nothing's happening with this one. Probably too many guests are standing right here. 
Maybe the other audio is too loud. We'll come back for him another day. There is an interesting issue that I'm finding just guests are lined up to make those sound effects, which I can hear and they sound good, but it, it makes it a little less unique because it's just almost like a line for you to take your magic band and just wave it right here in order to hear the different sound effects. And then it, oh, it's a little bit different. So as you walk up here, these sounds are different from guest to guest. But again, there are some like lines to uh, make these happen. Feeling this buzz and the light just the entire time I've been in this area here. It seems to just be in this whole area. It realizes that I'm here and it just lights up. Let's see if we can't find a different effect for Olaf right here. Maybe he'll say something. Epcot sound, or, or it's actually similar to the one we heard over here. So, by Hey Hey. It was, uh, it's interesting, but not much to it. First impressions, it's interesting. Again, something else to charge that doesn't really do that much. So, I have a feeling they're going to implement this into more things. That's the difference maker, right? So I think a lot, a lot more things are gonna to start to associate with Magic Man Plus, at least they hope so. We have not played the Bounty Hunter game yet in Hollywood Studios, saving that for a full day. Another day we'll do that, but, um, for this first part, and I haven't done the fireworks because that to me doesn't make any sense. Like I'm gonna watch the fireworks, not my Magic Band Plus, when I'm watching fireworks. So to me it makes very little sense. But you can see every time I walk by like someone like Figment, and then I just move this around a little bit, it'll make the noise. Continuing to light up and do something. I, I don't know why it was, it's just I'm trying to figure out when it happens. You can see Spaceship Earth right over here. Is, uh, is doing its thing, which is great, but I don't think we're close enough to, if, if there is any interaction with it, which would be really cool, I don't think we're close enough for that. So I haven't fully figured out what all this means and the buzzing and the lights, but it's interesting. So here we are in front of Spaceship Earth and the Magic Man Plus hasn't changed at all. I feel like that'd be a good one to, uh, to add to the experience. Ooh, love this, oh wait a minute, wait a minute. Something just happened. Wait, it, it buzzed. Something buzzed. I don't know why it did that. Nope. Woo. Love this show though, I really do. Such a good one. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Ta-da! Yeah, nice! Wait a minute, we caught that on the Magic Band Plus. So there is a little bit of interaction with the Magic Band Plus and the Epcot show. That is very, very cool. I like that, that's, that's nice. But again, same thoughts. You're not gonna be looking at your Magic Band Plus when the show's going, so. It, I guess it makes sense, like, if everybody has one. If everybody has Magic Man Plus, like, everybody's going with the show. So that makes sense to me. But I, I don't, I, I don't know. It's still a little gimmicky in my eyes. But interesting, and I'm glad to have it. Just have a little piece of Disney history. Um, but, you know, we'll see if they add more to it, which I have a feeling they will. Overall, Magic Man Plus is interesting. It's not you know, amazing, groundbreaking, but I think it has potential. I really, really do. And I'm looking forward to using mine more as more features roll out, which I'm sure they will in the future. A big thanks to our patrons for making all of our videos possible, and thanks to you for watching. Until next time, have a magical day, and I'll see you real soon.